uh, our company actually uh, uh, focus on the developing uh, uh, genomics tools and also uh, cancer vaccine and uh, including some uh, single cell analysis. But I will talk about mostly about uh, methylome analysis, so what we did, uh, um, and then share some other insights about it. So first, um, so every cell has a, a, a special their signature, uh, which can be shown by DNA methylation patterns. As you as you can see here, the uh, uh, figures and uh, immune cells uh, they can be uh, differentiated into different types, and then they all have a, a unique uh, uh, DNA methylation patterns, and that can be uh, explained by the methylome. And also uh, that uh, methylation patterns are uh, um, actually important to reprogram the cell uh, determination. So to explain so how the DNA methylation happens, and you can see the DNMT1, which is a CG method transfer, which uh, interacts with other transcription factors or chromatin proteins. And then they uh, so each cell types they have this, uh, some signal transcription signal and epigenetics uh, signaling and they can make a unique DNA methylation patterns. Usually it happens uh, during a cell cycle uh, for the maintenance of the DNA methylation. So uh, recently the DNMT1 interaction with other chromatin neurodynamic proteins were published and including the uh, this is uh, uh, chromatin remodeling protein and uh, DNA interactions is, uh, published last year. I uh, joined. And uh, so the conclusion is that DNA method transferages and chromatin remodeling shape the epigenetic landscape for each cell type. So uh, let me talk about some uh, connection to um, the cancer. Um, uh, detection. So, for example, here are uh, cancer patients. They have the tumors uh, in different organs, uh, uh, such as uh, lung and uh, uh, colorectal cancer. And what happens here is uh, cancer cells, they uh, uh, after dying and they release uh, the DNA uh, by apoptosis or necrosis. And uh, this DNA molecule actually um, migrate to uh, in a blood vessel, and so that we can detect uh, circulating tumor DNA uh, by uh, isolating uh, ctDNA from plasma fraction. And what you can do is uh, you can uh, uh, analyze mutations and copy number variations and gene fusions, and also you can analyze DNA methylation patterns using this technology. So recently, uh, I think the, this is the, one of the best um, um, study of what's done by Grail, com another company, and they evaluated the uh, different uh, biomarkers or analysis from the ctDNA, and then they concluded that the uh, methylation parents uh, gives the high, highest sensitivity to detect cancer uh, as compared to other uh, fragment lengths or um, mutations or some uh, fusion uh, uh, structure variations. So I, I, I want to focus, uh, uh, emphasize the how DNA methylation parents can give uh, inform informative uh, data to us uh, for cancer detection. So here are some limitations to uh, analyze the ctDNA. So the first is the detection sensitivity is pretty low because the, usually in plasma, the ctDNA uh, only present to one to ten percent, and secondly, the uh, uh, standard DNA methylation analysis they used uh, bisulfite cytosine conversion. Sometimes the bisulfite treatment can degrade the DNA, so the uh, sometimes it, uh, it, uh, uh, difficult to get the high coverage for ctDNA, and. Uh, so uh, one thing that the, uh, the DNA methylation itself has some limitation. Uh, maybe you have to know that is uh, so many mutations gives very direct uh, the information for uh, functionality of genes, but the uh, epigenetic alterations only covers the uh, uh, cell differentiation and uh, gene expression information. Uh, 
So sometimes it cannot be, uh, it cannot give the, the companion diagnostics away. Uh, anyway, so about these limitations, we can solve these uh, solutions. Uh, you have some solutions, so for example, enzymatic based uh, conversion method, and then uh, the small panel size can give a uh, high coverage so that we can detect the cancer with the high, uh, higher sensitivity with uh, low DNA input. So, uh, so enzymatic conversion uh, is uh, slightly different from the bisulfide conversion uh, for the uh, visual but the, the processes are very different. The bisulfide conversion included the uh, chemical treatments and which is uh, sometimes uh, uh, degrading DNA uh, and then the optimization is uh, sometimes uh, required. And for enzymatic modification of the cytosin as uh, two steps. So one is a TET2 oxidation in the uh, uh, step, and then the second is apoveg enzyme uh, convert to this uh, unmethylated sequence to version. And then finally, the sequencing information you get is uh, actually uh, altered sequences as a uh, T. So enzymatic conversion method has a, a, a advantages um, uh, in that uh, it has this, it provides a more uh, stable DNA fragment. And also the uh, twist, I think the uh, uh, methylone panels provide higher coverage for CPGs or, uh, as compared to other uh, microRNA method. So, and also NGS method uh, included some uh, uh, more uh, flexible uh, options uh, you can take. So for uh, circulated tumor DNA methylation analysis, uh, you, you have to consider that uh, normal plasma CF DNA usually don't uh, include uh, tumor, um, circulated tumor DNA. So what uh, people do is uh, this, uh, um, uh, analyze what's the feature of a uh, CPG uh, methylation uh, as compared to the normal DNA. So that uh, if you see and anything is unmethylated from uh, the same loci, it usually has to be methylated, and then you can call it like unmethylated or hypomethylated uh, um, fragment. And uh, you you can calculate the each CPG level, and then you can sometimes combine or uh, methylation level, or you can do some uh, uh, pattern. Uh, a methylated pattern as a, a part of the chain or some other method um, to to find out that this fragment actually came from a uh, tumor one. So, uh, so microRNA sometimes covers only single uh, CPG island, but uh, uh, you, the sequencing method is, uh, has sometimes uh, good to know where the this uh, CPG positions are co-methylated one. So in our hand, the uh, methylation pat uh, patterns are sometimes uh, as a single CPG, it doesn't give a good uh, uh, power performance, but it, as you uh, change, uh, checking the co-methylated pairs and then you can get a better uh, performance for detecting cancer. And another independent study actually uh, uh, agree with that. So we can see that the, this is a targeted by sulfide sequencing, but anyway, the hypercomethylated read can be very informative to give us um, um, whether this uh, cancer tumor DNA came from or So for our study, we uh, used the 85 megabase uh, panel for marker discovery from tissue. So we compare normal tissue to uh, cancer tissue and uh, find out what uh, CPG regions are uh, differentially methylated. And then we define the DMRs and then narrow down the what uh, markers are really important. And then we designed the custom panels uh, from twist, and then we uh, we get sometimes we make the multi uh, cancer panel, but we also can make a, a cancer specific panel from using this. And then after we get the data from ctDNA uh, uh, methylome, and then we can also do some 
of, of more refined uh, biomarker discovery using the machine learning algorithms. So here is a one example. The, you can also uh, detect the multi-cancer in one uh, custom panel. And this is actually uh, tissue data, but uh, some different types of uh, uh, cancer, you, you can have the unique uh, um, methylation pairs. And um, you, uh, using methylone panels, you can discover these panels, but uh, to increase the maybe sensitivity, you have to uh, focus on maybe some of the biomarkers. Uh, and in some cases, uh, for colorectal cancer and gastric cancer, you have uh, some overlapping uh, by, uh, methylation markers. So uh, to get to know the, the really uh, the origin of the tumor, you, you have to know the, uh, the uh, refined further the biomarkers to get the uh, cancer type specific methylation patterns. And here's another more focused study for. Uh, prostate cancer. So what we did is uh, compare the prostate cancer to uh, benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is not cancer, but similar, uh, but has some similar symptoms to uh, prostate cancer. So to compare, uh, to distinguish these uh, uh, two types of disease, we actually get the uh, methylation patterns from two different biopsies. So this is a tissue data. So here is uh, the black bar uh, indicated the uh, BPH and then uh, the red bar indicated uh, uh, so, uh, on the, the heat map. Um, sorry. You can see the, the prostate cancer samples and then different methods and parents uh, are shown. And as you can see in PCA blood, we can distinguish the BPH and PCA prostate cancer uh, samples uh, using these methylation uh, markers. And then the, the age uh, the value is very precise. And we know that uh, one markers can uh, discriminate these two types of disease. And further, we uh, actually studied uh, what the difference between the early prostate cancer and the late prostate cancer, advanced uh, late, uh, prostate cancer. And uh, we defined the uh, 600 uh, uh, CPH size, and then it gives us a very clear uh, 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 distinction between the two uh, early uh, prostate cancer and the late uh, prostate cancer. And then, as you can see, this is a BPH and the early. PCA, and then this is advanced PCA shown by uh, this uh, methylation data. And we noticed that this, uh, this is, uh, interestingly, the CPG levels uh, give us a more, uh, a high, uh, better informative biomarkers uh, as compared to DMRs. So as you can see here, though, mostly the CPG level is more important to discriminate to different uh, Disease. And then when you look at the, what where the CPG uh, differential methylation happens, and then actually many regions actually include uh, also gene body. And we know that the promoter regions uh, uh, have the, when they have the differential methylation, it can connect, uh, uh, lead to the differential gene expression. So we, what we see is uh, some uh, cancer related and transcriptional. Regulation happens uh, from the early cancer and the late cancer. And for uh, circulatory DNA methylation analysis, we uh, designed the custom panel, and then you can actually select some uh, uh, CPG regions. And then uh, after designing uh, probes from twist, you can get the high coverage. And in some cases, uh, because of the biological sample, you, you can get uh, uh, less coverage, but we normally use uh, uh, more than 300x for uh, circulating tumor uh, DNA method. So uh, for the uh, colorectal cancer case, uh, we have uh, the methyl methylation parent, and then uh, uh, you normally know it's known the colorectal cancer uh, it's uh, easy to detect using, relatively easy to detect using a, a CTDNA analysis. And then we also get the same uh, 
uh, uh, uh, results. So the from the stage one to stage four, we can uh, relatively precisely uh, detect the colorectal cancer from the blood samples and more precisely uh, uh, plasma samples. So today's uh, summary is the enzyme-based conver uh, conversion and hybridization based capture method uh, enables to analyze uh, cell-free DNA methylation data with high coverage depth. And uh, core methylation uh, parents can be very uh, effectively used to uh, remove the noise uh, present in the cell DNA methylation profile in case uh, sometimes there are we noticed that there are various in uh, sequence coverage itself in from cell free DNA. And custom designs of methylistic panels can guide the selection of important marker cells from tissue genome DNA to cell free DNA level. And when you want, especially you want to have the high coverage from uh, cell free DNA method loading, then a the smaller panel is uh, uh, advantageous. And overall twist by sense targeted panels can provide a high accuracy and performance for multi-cancer detection and other uh, methylation studies. Thank you for listening and uh, yeah, thank you.